Hello, coming to you from Midland, Michigan. Underneath my mom's favorite Bible verse, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven, and um, sitting in her chair and holding the flag that the Marines presented to us at her celebration of life. I thought no better time, no better place than to do a Veterans Day thank you, shout out, or encouragement, or whatever I'm doing in this video. But my mom was a Marine Corps veteran. And I just wanted to thank her on this video. Thank all you out there for your service. And, you know, the experience of having the Marines come to our celebration of life, play taps, and they presented me with this flag was just such an honor. And it, it's almost so much emotions for a guy like me to not even understand. I had to think about it. I, you know, I was telling people it's very intense and uh, real or, you know, those kind of things. But you know what it was? It was an honor to accept this flag on behalf of my mother. She was the definition of what we all see in strength and love. And those Marines that came to our service, we had one woman and one man, and the taps that they played was absolutely beautiful. Um, I've watched that kind of event happen on movies and TV, you know, and it, and it has a meaning there, but I will tell you, when that Marine is standing right in front of you, looking you square in the eye like this, saying, you know, on behalf of the President of the United States, we want to thank you for uh, your your service, uh, your loved one's service. It was different, I assure you. And for all you people who are veterans or have veterans in their family and or, have, God forbid, have lost them, thank you so much. It, it's hard to really... Thank you all enough. And one day a year, 1111 is not enough. And, you know, I, as in honor of my mom, I just want to encourage you all to use any of the resources that our society and government has for you. Um, you are cared for, you are wanted, you are loved. I have had a little bit of weird... Um, you know, mental anguish from the loss of my mom. And it seems that, you know, this mental anguish is hard to even talk about. And I, you know, if, if you guys are struggling, um, for whatever reasons, first of all, you're not alone. That is probably the, one of the hardest things that I've dealt with personally um was this alone feeling and and I just encourage you to think about the people that you do have in your life and that you are reaching out to or that you could reach out to just give somebody a call and say hello how you doing um you know and I've been telling folks how I feel and they have been very great to me so Maybe it's the strength. Maybe it's a man thing. And I'm very independent, and I, I, I raised by my mom to go out there into the world and do whatever I, I can do, whatever I put my mind to it. Um, but the weight of the world gets very heavy sometimes. And what my mom would want us all to hear is, you know, she was a Christian, and she would want us to remember Jeremiah twenty nine eleven that the Lord has a plan for you and a plan to prosper you and not to harm you and give you a bright future. And sometimes it doesn't feel that way, you know? And, um, and I know it's true and I'm not a huge Christian. I am, I would say I'm getting to be more spiritual in my, in my age, but loneliness is real. And, and having those emotions is real. And it seems that, that it's even with all the 
videos and the things out there doesn't make it easy to to just give our friends a call or reach out. But that's what I would encourage us all to do is to just help our fellow man. Um, you know, when I say reach out to resources, I, I'm into real estate and I would love you all to remember you have a VA loan that you can get. And people that want to have a house and a family in the future that are veterans, look into the VA loan. Look into maybe I, some people don't have the best credit. I hear that. But what does your credit need to be in order to have a home and, and build your future and build your dreams? I really, truly believe in real estate and having a home and, you know, building it just you know, we're sitting in my parents' home. But mom bought hers on a VA loan, and it was a fixer-upper, and it was so bad that we had to take many days to clean the smoke off the walls. We had to tear out all the carpet. And I remember my family coming to help us do that. And so, you know, maybe it's upon us to help our family some more. Maybe it's upon us to not be so lonely um, or strong or whatever we say it is. I've been hanging out with my sister's kids a lot and absolutely loved it. Um, just love being around the little kids and being a good Uncle Harley and being there for them in the moment. So I've been a little dark um, and I won't do that anymore, folks. Uh, starting on Veterans Day in honor of my mom, uh, I'm just going to try and post more uplifting videos or just share how I'm feeling um, to you all. Hopefully this helps folks feel better and encourages you that you can do it. You can do it. You can do anything you put your mind to. You're loved and God made you just the way you are on purpose with all the flaws and all the problems so that we can overcome those problems and be strong. Um, you know, the Marines are a great example of never say die uh, from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. E. I really under, I understand what that means. Um, but we are all here to help each other. And you veterans, there's resources out there. Reach out to your fellow man, women, and you're not alone. Love you all. Have a great Veterans Day.